Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Busy, busy day. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. That's kind of strange. And how was your day, teacher? It was good. Um, you know, I'm doing much of the work is home office. I, I teach from my house. However, um, in the mornings, I go to San Salvador to teach one class. And usually when I finish that class, I return to Lourdes. So it was, uh, it was okay. You know, like um, the regular normal day that I usually have. Right, so okay. it was good. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Yes. All right, so welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so Julia, did you rest today? Yeah, <laughs> and I rested and I ate a lot and I, <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling guilty. I went to the volcano to my restaurant. Uh -huh. You've been there called the Charlie Boy. Okay. The hamburgers. It's not expensive. Don't think that uh -huh. because if a restaurant there, it's expensive. Yeah, I know the, that there are some, a lot of restaurants, restaurants that are so expensive, but that's not the, in this, it's not the case. Okay. Uh, the hamburger was delicious. Good, good, nice. Yeah. How, how much is the hamburger? Uh, how much there are? Yeah. Are you talking about the price? Uh, eight dollars. Eight ninety-five. Yeah. And my drink, I ordered uh, horchata around two fifty. Okay. And yeah, that was it. But it's a huge hamburger. I imagine. I imagine. Yeah, eight ninety-five is not bad for a hamburger because, like, if you go to Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's. You pay like eight dollars for for exactly. a hamburger. It's too expensive, mm -hmm. right? And it was a double meat. It's not one meat. It was double meat. Double the meat. one meat costs cost seven seven something. Seven okay. Seven fifty seven around there. Okay, good, good. Oh, well, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. So I feel guilty because I'm feeling like hungry right now, but <laughs> oh my God, no, I can eat no, no more. <laughs> No okay, you know, like sometimes I feel a little bit guilty too because of the food that I eat. You know, I shouldn't be eating exactly. like, oh, you're hungry, go ahead and eat it. But I usually eat what comes to my mind. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's the same case. And uh, yeah, but it was a good day. Yeah, yeah, good day. Okay, good. All right, so yeah. welcome back. What's today's date, class? What is the date? Thursday, no. Thursday, 12th. November 12th. How do November you spell 12th. 12th? How do you spell 12th? How do you spell 12th? Uh -huh. T-U-L-V-E-T-H. Okay. I rem I rem uh -huh. so <laughs> Okay, Oscar. But you explain something about 12th. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. fifth, nine, uh -huh. and twelve, they suffer changes before you go from cardinal to ordinal. Yeah, you said that. Okay, let me write it in the chat. Um, today is um, November 12th, right there, 12th. So, um, VE disappears, then you put letter F, and then at the end you put TH. Yes. Vilma. How are you, Vilma? I'm fine. You I'm sorry. Yesterday I had a problem with my internet. Okay. And I couldn't connect it again. Okay. Yeah, with, with Julia, because I was talking with Julia when I had that problem. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, no problem. No problem. All right. So um we have 
eight people um, present. Uh, first activity, I will give you five minutes so you guys talk about the plans that you have for this coming weekend, the plans that you have for tonight after the class, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and including uh, Monday. So let me assign the, the groups uh -huh, um, right here. And here we go. Talk about your weekend. Okay. Like um, a few technicians for repair my 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 one uh, lavador. I, I know it's machine washing, washing machine. The washing washer machine. machine. Yes, the washing machine because I have a problem with the washing machine uh, since two weeks ago that I, uh, they can. Uh, I don't know it's, it's bad right now, so I need to okay. repair the the washing machine. Okay. Then I have a meeting from. From uh, uh, is, is, uh, study, a program, a program, study program okay. that maybe I will uh, took from the next year. You uh, would take. I will take from the next year because okay. it's a, an objective to have an, uh, uh, for a study in another country. In this oh, case, wow. it's, a, it's a program that we can... Uh, have a, a, a diploma oh. and and work and study in maybe or probably in Vancouver the next year. So I try to have that that meeting tomorrow with a a program that uh, I have a, a webinar uh, yesterday. No, yeah, yesterday. Yes, I have that webinar after the English class, and maybe I can try to to know if I have a, the the possibility to study and work in, in Canada from the next year. Wow. Nice. Probably. Nice. Yes. yes. Break yes. a leg. Break a leg. Yes, probably. And then, yes. no, I, I, I want to, I will go to the San Sebastian uh, Pueblo. The How town. You, town. At San Sebastian town. In San Vicente. In San Vicente, right? Mm -hmm. Because I have a, an uncle that he passed away uh, thirty days before. Ago. Ago. Thirty days 30 ago. Days ago. Thirty days ago. So uh, tomorrow, no, this Saturday is the is a first month. Yes, the first month, and they have a celebration in the church, like a, oh, wow. a misa. Yeah, yeah. Mass. 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 Oh, mass. I have a mass in. 
And only that, maybe Sunday I visit the Nehapa town too for bring uh, gifts or presents to the population of Nehapa because they have a problem with this situation of the, the climate situation, the weather situation. So eh, they have a, a very interesting weekend, but I think <laughs> it's, it's, yes, I it's like really dangerous because we were like, uh -huh. you have to be careful because the 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 virus the coronavirus is still there yes the COVID-19 is still yeah yes. you too Irene yes <laughs> normally in in the in the end of, of year mm -hmm. the people um, there are um, many many parties right Yes. Uh -huh, many, many parties, <laughs> many invitations, many Gosh. eating invitations, many fine dining invitations, and so on. Yes, weddings so, and stuff like that. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Too many things. I, uh, you know, uh, I, I usually gain weight. Oh my God! So yeah. you have to eat by compromise. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if if you don't, they are like really hurt. I care, Danita. Huh? I care. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to be careful. Yes, yes. <laughs> sure. Yes, but sure. in my case, I I lost weight in in in, in fact. This year I lost like like uh, like maybe fifteen pounds. Good for you. Really? Yes, but I think that it was because I I had I, I get sick really sick. Oh. <laughs> I had the the typhoidia fever. I don't know. Oh really? Oh. Yes. <laughs> and after that, that yes, I yes, I was at the hospital. Yeah, when, that's a when, very when did, serious illness. When did, when yes, did you have this? Really in five, February, I spent six, six days on the in hospital. the hospital. Yes, and after that, after that, I I didn't I didn't uh, uh, weigh my my my. You didn't get your back. weight back. Yes. Uh, and do you remember what you ate? What no. got you sick? No, I I spent all the year trying to to remember what uh -huh. did I eat, but I I can't remember. I don't know. It's a mystery. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I, yeah, I my... got the. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead, Oscar. Go ahead. I, I got the same illness in in two thousand, I think. Oh. And I and I still don't know. Me me neither. Me neither. I I still don't know. Where did I get it? What did I eat? But uh, it's so how to say the last year and 2019 there was a like a epidemic of of uh, yes. how do you say teacher the typhoid 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 uh -huh. yeah. typhoid epidemic typhoid of epidemic of typhoid uh -huh. uh, was was going on during yes. the 2019 in El Salvador. So many people got sick. Right. Yes. My really wife, weird. my wife, mm -hmm. she got sick uh, like five or six years ago, the same oh. illness. And uh, because she bought some yuca in a corner near here. Oh, and that is oh. the only explanation that she had to, to explain, you know, like, that's where I got sick. Oh, I can imagine because of the, because of yeah. the yuca. <laughs> Right, right. But she learned her lesson, so she's not eating uh, on the streets <laughs> okay. anymore. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got the same lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, teacher, hello. Hello, how are you? 
Here talking we are about, talking about talking life. about life, plants, <laughs> health, <laughs> vacations, different things. Food. Okay. Yeah. Food. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Any questions or comments about the plans that you have for this coming weekend? No. No? Okay. Um, for the ones that are doing unit four of the platform, you know that one of the topics we will discuss is the future perfect and the future perfect continuous. How do you say, uh, el sábado habré ido a Usulután? Habré ido a Usulután. On the Saturday, I will have gone to Usulután. Good, on Saturday, I will have gone to Usulután. So what is the structure that we use when we are using the the future perfect. What is it? Plus yeah. Al plus ing verb. Uh, not exactly. Will plus have plus past participle. Exactly, past participle. Yes, uh -huh. past participle. So Jose says on Saturday I will have gone I will have to gone. Sulutan. Right? Mañana habré pagado los recibos. How do you say that one? I will have paid my, my bills. I will yes. my my bills. bills. Right, right. Um, how do you say a las once yo te habré llamado? At 11? I will, I will have, have a, a called you. I will have you. called you. I, I will okay. have called you. I will have, I will called. have called you. Okay. So uh, the examples that I gave you, el sábado habré ido a Sulután, a las 11 te habré llamado, mañana habré pagado los recibos. What, what is the function of the future perfect? Habré pagado, habré ido, te habré llamado. What does that tell you? So how, how many tenses do we have in English? 12. 12. We have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So if you can see in the chat, you know, I, I'm sharing the, the structure that we use when we are talking in the future perfect. I will have paid, I will have gone, and so on. Um, anybody wants to try uh, and share the function of the future perfect? Is to say a, a situation that, 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 will, that will have finished. Right. That will have finished in, in the future. In a particular uh, time in the future. A particular At time in the future is going, going to start and it's going to, it's going to, to end. end. Uh -huh. Right. Right. No, it's not going to continue. It's just a. a it will be finished. Uh -huh. It will be finished. It will be completed. So, how do you say, uh, wait for me? En cinco minutos me habré bañado. How do you say that one? Wait for me. In five minutes, I will have uh, taken a shower. a shower. I will have taken a shower. So, in five minutes, you're going to be out of the shower, ready to go. So that is the future perfect. Now, what is the future perfect continuous? A las 11 de la noche. At 11 o'clock, I, I will have been uh, taking, taking uh, shower. shower. <laughs> okay, at 11 o'clock, I will have been taking a shower. Habré estado tomando una ducha. So the difference is, when you are using the future perfect, you're talking about an action, a finished action in a particular time in the future. When you're using the future perfect continuous, 
you're talking about a particular time in the future and the action will be in progress. It will not be finished. It will be in progress. So in five minutes, we will have been receiving class for 25 minutes. So an action in progress in a particular time in the future. So we have present perfect, I mean, no, not, not present perfect, future perfect, future perfect, future perfect versus future perfect continuous. Right there. As you can see, I cannot touch type. Do you remember the meaning of the word touch type? Okay, let me read. To, to uh -huh. talk without see the, the keyboard. Exactly, so type is type. Okay, type a message, type whatever. And like Jose says, touch type is when you have the ability to type without checking the, the keyboard. So you're just checking the monitor. So you're really good, you're really fast. So as you can see, Francisco cannot touch type. Anyways, okay. So um, I want you to discuss the differences between future perfect and future perfect continuous. So let me reassign you. Let me see. Recreate. Recreate. This person goes to number six and she goes to number six as well. And then the others, uh, you stay with a new person. All right, so explain the differences, please. Hello. Hi, Francisco. Hello. Can you, can you repeat the, the, the activity that we had to do? Uh, only, only, only compare the differences uh -huh. between the future perfect and the future perfect continuous. The future perfect is uh, something that we happen in the future, but don't, didn't continue, right? And the future present continuous is an action that you start in the present and you continue doing in the future. Is this correct? Uh, it could be. It could oh, okay. be. Kind Can of. You correct me all the, all the idea. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. yeah like future perfect is to talk about finished activities uh, in mm -hmm. a particular time in the future. Mm -hmm. So you say, on Saturday, I will have gone to Sulutan. Mm -hmm. uh, the future perfect continues mm -hmm. makes reference to actions that will be in progress in a particular time in the future. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the same example is, I writing. I have been writing to Sultan this weekend. Not exactly. Oh. I will have been writing. I will have writing. been writing. Okay. Yes. I will have. In future perfect continuous. Is in action. When you. To put yourself at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. The difference is. The difference between the, the two times, the two tenses, mm -hmm. is that uh, the. Okay. By this time tomorrow, I, I will have, I will have done my my work. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. In the future, perfect continue. 
And at the living end, uh, we have been working. We don't define when it's going to finish. So, so I don't know. For example, if a baby is a, uh, how to say, give birth is his, his career. <laughs> Give birth. 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 And then, uh. yeah, and to, and to <laughs> nacer is. And what? Born. Uh, nacer. Uh, born. Be born. born. When a child born. When a child is born. When a child is born, is going, will, will be breathing the whole life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is future continuous. Yes, future will be breathing. Right. The it's whole a, life, I mean, uh huh. Yeah, it, it's an action that will be in progress, like you said, in a, for the whole life. So it's it's a it's a general future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So will be breathing for the rest of their lives. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This answers are correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I have been, um, it has been raining for two hours. <laughs> we are using the, the present continuous. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It has been raining, that is um, present uh -huh. perfect continuous. Yes. Present perfect continuous. Yes. Right. Okay, okay. Is it correct? Yes. Yeah, yes, it's been raining. It's been raining for two hours. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a Like a month ago. Oh wow! So, interesting. In, in in which business do you invest in, or do you have an entrepreneur? In what it kind is, of? It's a it's a family business. It's it's like fifteen years. <laughs> oh ah, no! Wow. It's a funeral home. It, yes, it's a. It's, funeral. A, it's a funeral. Yeah. Wow! So you have an increase the income in this period because. Yes. Wow! <laughs> congrats. <laughs> Congratulations! It's a it's a bad situation, but congratulations for you because they have more earnings in this in this time of of yes. pandemic situation. Yes. Wow! I will have been rich someday. Ah, <laughs> you start you start in, in something. Yes. You yes. like like Robert Kiyosaki says, you are a sophisticated investor. No, no, you're not a sophisticated investor. You are an investor, and I don't know the, the, the correct word, but you are you have an investing right now and this is the best opportunity to have a financial independence in the future. Oh, that's so great. You, you sound are... like Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump is a bad president, but it's a very good hasn't has not uh -huh. uh, drunk the water my me I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not sure. What What are you guys uh, trying to say? What What is the conversation about? Uh, about this uh, future future the future perfect future. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, but future we're perfect. trying. Yeah, but we're trying. Uh, we are we are talking that it's kind of difficult, but we haven't practiced 
um, the negative, in an, it just, we just say it like positive sentences, but we haven't right. tried the, the negative. Right, right. How do you say, in dos horas, no habré terminado? In two hours, I haven't. Okay, so remember. I will haven't finished. Uh-uh. Um, when you're using the information in the positive form, you say, I will have gone, I will have paid, I will have visited. So the negative of will is what? Want, will want. not. So I won't have finished in two hours. I won't have finished in two hours. I won't. I won't. I won't have finished in two hours. No habré terminado en dos horas. I won't have paid uh, my bills tomorrow. So when the information is negative, instead of saying will, you simply say won't. Will not. Right. Right. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need to practice. All right. Um, any questions or comments about how to use the future perfect or the future perfect continuous? Future, the yes. Future perfect continuous. Can you give us examples? Because for uh, sure. Case, um, for it's example. Getting complicated. Uh -huh. Okay. So examples. Give us examples. Right. So, like I told you guys before, when you're talking about the future perfect continuous. Uh, you're talking about an, a specific time in the future and you are mentioning an action that will be in progress. For example, a las nueve de la noche habré estado dando tres horas de clase. That's in Spanish. A las nueve de la noche habré estado dando tres horas de clase. And I will continue teaching. So I will say at nine o'clock, I will have I been will teaching have been. for three hours. And I will continue teaching. Now, if I want to say, a las diez, ya habré terminado, then I say at 10, I will have finished. So the difference is the future perfect, talk about finished activities in the future. The future perfect continues. You're talking about actions in progress in a particular time in the future. You will, uh, you use the structure, you I by, by tomorrow, Tomorrow, I right. will you, have, you, yes. in the present, I will have uh, eaten. Yes, you need lunch. a time expression. Yes, you need a time uh -huh. expression. It's lunch, but yes. for in the, in the future, perfect continuous will be, would be by tomorrow, I will have, no, nor have. No, have. no, uh, it doesn't matter if you're using future perfect or future perfect continuous, you will use will have with all personal pronouns, even with the third person singular. Okay, I will have a uh, being. I will have been uh -huh. eating. Okay, I will have the been. whole day. I will have been eating or drinking the whole day. Exactly, yes. Or in, how, the future, uh, in the future, perfect or perfect, see? Yeah, future perfect. Doesn't change. We use the past participle always. Yes. Mandatory, mandatory. Oh, wow. okay, okay. Yeah, and, and with the future perfect continuous, you will say it, uh, at nine o'clock, I will have been teaching. Okay. So, you, so you, it's necessary that you include verb to be in the past participle, and the main verb is with the ing form. Okay, okay. So, for example, en el 2021, Habré estado viviendo en Lourdes nueve años. How will you say that one? Wow. 2021. Uh-huh. 2021. Habré uh, estado viviendo en Lourdes nueve años. I will have lived in Lourdes for nine years. Yes. I will have been living in Lourdes for nine years. So it's an action that will continue 2022, 2023, and so on. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh my yeah. So uh, I mean, like in, in some of these tenses, they are not 
common to use. So when you face them, when it's time for you to use it, you might feel a little bit insecure, like, okay, what is the structure that I need to use? Because it's not common to use uh, those tenses. However, sooner than later, you will have to use them. Uh -huh. In my case, I, uh, I had a test and, and I didn't use them. Uh -huh. I mean, we are we're accustomed to, to speak in a plain way. I mean, only in pres present, in the present. Simple present, present simple, simple past, present, present, perfect, uh -huh. right. So, right. So, I don't know. We have to study this because it's important. Get over it, Oscar. We paid it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like I said, future perfect, a finished activity in the future, future perfect continues, an activity in progress in a particular time in the future. Yep. All right. Um, any questions or comments? No? Okay. So let's go to the speaking section. Um, your human body has different parts and every single part has a function. Every single part is so important. So um, if you were to choose one part of your body, like, okay, like this is what I need to go on, which part would you, would you choose? My eyes. Your eyes. Good. Someone else? A different part? Can you repeat the question, teacher, please? So if you, if you have to choose one part of your body to be like priority, like I definitely um, need this part of my body to keep with my life, to go on with my life, which part would it be? You need the whole body. I mean, <laughs> everything I is important. The whole body because <laughs> the whole part is necessary to move our body. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. So let me... Let me show you the questions that you guys will be discussing right here. Uh -huh. It's loading, it's loading. taking longer. Okay, can you see the questions? Yeah. Okay, what are the questions about? What part of your body? Hands. hands. Your hands. Do you consider your hands to be important? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Extremely important. Yes. Extremely important. Okay. Um, Eight to nine, eight to nine. Where are you guys? Um, right here. But I have problems with my computer. All right. So you can take a screenshot from um, from the questions that you have in your screen. And if not, I'll be sending them to your WhatsApp chat. Let me break out the rooms. Recreate, recreate, uh -huh -huh. all right, so, okay, so here we go. Uh, ask and answer uh, those questions, here we go. Let's talk about your hands.
I think that are very, uh, I don't know, very fat. No, not fat. Uh, normal, but I really don't like my hands. But I know that I'm are useful for me. <laughs> oh, okay. No they, are, uh -huh. they, they are use, useful for you. Yes, of course. I work yes. with, with, with them. Yes. Sorry, sorry. This, uh, this, this is the basis, best important. Yes. Things. Use our hands for eat, for work. For, yes. Um, or the hugs or our children to express our love with someone else. It seems yeah. really important. Yeah. Them. What about you, Irene? Um, what do you think about this? They miss me because I will share my screen. Right? Okay, but give us your opinion about the hands. Do you think you like your hands is the question. Jose. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, Veronica? I am good, teacher. Good. Did, I, you, did you work today? Yes, I, I did. Okay. Did you yes. start uh, discussing the questions uh, that I sent? No, because I don't know what's, what is going with Jose. Jose, can you hear us? I think he might be. Can you hear me, Jose? I don't think he can. Okay. <laughs> Jose, Jose. All right, let, let me move you to work with someone else, Veronica. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. Veronica, you will go to room two. And uh, yeah, he's gay, but sometimes he told me like confusing th uh, things for me. That something like, I don't know, maybe I, I can't fix my life with you and uh, we could have a, a, a son and it's like I don't know but I would like to work with, with him to live but I'm not sure it's a confusing <laughs> it's a confusing part of my life <laughs> yeah well, well maybe in the future or I don't know if you met uh, uh, a person mm, okay have you ever tried to to use your left <laughs> That's interesting. It, yes, maybe when I was like a little girl, I I tried to <laughs> write with my left hand and everything, but it was kind of difficult. Yes, I know. I've heard that <laughs> in, in our, maybe in our life, we try to do different things. For example, if you are right-handed, you should try to do something and sometimes because uh, your mind could be very is smart must smart busy or busier busier, busier. busier. Yes. yes it's busier when you try to do different thing with the the customer oh. Wait. right uh huh teacher we are looking for the different parts of the hand in english for example the the el indice, el pulgar. El... Oh, okay. okay. This <laughs> is English, uh -huh. this is thumb. 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 Like e Thomas. He no. T h u m b. M as in Mary, B as in baby. Thumb. 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 This is index. 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 Thumb. Index. Yes. In in uh -huh. Okay, now I had it in my phone. Aha, uh -huh. let me see. Thumb, uh, okay. Index. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Middle. Uh, middle. Middle. Ring. Aha. Uh -huh. And little. And little. little or pinky? Oh, pinky. <laughs> pinky. Yeah, pinky. <laughs> I never hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. 
So every finger has a name. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I see. So I, I see only also I also see the knuckles. Yeah, Arrows, knuckles. 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 Yes. knuckles. Right. Okay. Good. The... He's very healthy. Oh. He's um maybe ninety seven years oh. old. And he he walks around one hour every day. And maybe when he wants to go to another uh, municipio, mm -hmm. city, what? City? County. 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 Ah, county. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, he takes the bus and he go along every weekend or two or three times on the week. Who are you, who, who are you talking about? Ah, my wife's Grandpa. Oh. Wow. 97 years old, teacher. And, and he's still uh, independent, like he moves around without any help. He is very angry because uh, the president, he he put uh, behind the jail cell. Okay. Said with the president, with the president we have right now. <laughs> Yeah. Because the pandemic or the quarantine was very oh. hard for him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I can imagine. Because yeah. he's used to, to, to go everywhere without help. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe he he walks um, since me Mexicanos to downtown, to San Salvador. Oh, walking. that's great. Walking because he 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 knows the buses. He, he can he can read it. He can read. Okay. But he knows the buses and he he doesn't he use glasses. He doesn't oh. use glasses. He doesn't use glasses. He can hear you very good. Right. Mm -hmm. It's very independent. Yeah, yeah, my, my grandfather, you know, he was 94 last year. He died, but he was able to read without glasses, oh. without glasses. So, you know, like, I'm like, my goodness, he's like almost <laughs> double my age. And he has a, a vision way better than the one that I have. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he says... Uh, he said in Spanish, uh, ustedes ya no lo hacen como antes. It's true. <laughs> Pobre bichas. It's true. <laughs> you know, previous generations, they were, uh, they had that extra something that we don't have anymore. Yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> true. Yes. So, uh -huh. we'll see what happens.
All right. Any questions or comments you may have about your beautiful two hands? No questions? No question. I have a comment. Yes, Roxanne. For example, the last one. How often do you wash your hands? <laughs> because of the pandemic, every 10 minutes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Or 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you know, if we had had this conversation one year ago, you would say, oh, before I eat. Uh -huh. Oh, when I take a shower. <laughs> But nowadays, yeah. you know, the, the stories well, is, now... is really different. <laughs> or after to use the, the bathroom. Exactly. When I go to the uh -huh. bathroom, when I eat. So just in particular situations, now it's exactly. you know, the, the, the pandemic changed our lives, definitely. Yes. Yeah, good comment, Roxanne. All right, okay. anybody else? Any comments or questions? Mm. No? Okay, so um, once again, thank you for making the time. I'll be seeing you Monday, same place, eight o'clock. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye. Enjoy yourself. See you. Thank you. Thank you.